On this pedal box road trip, we're back at Shelsley Walsh for Retro Rides Gathering 2021, and this is part three of our trip coverage. This time we talked to Hubnut, who brought along Betty after importing it all the way from New Zealand, and we talked to Sarah from Midland Auto Club, tells us how they fared through lockdown, and Ollie shares some of his awesome pictures, plus lots of runs on the hill. So I'm here with Ian Hubnut, who has brought Betty down to Retro Rides Gathering, has made it. Betty's been doing a pretty good tour around the country. Because did Betty get up to Festival of the Unexceptional as well? No, she didn't make. No. Festival of the I, Unexceptional. What did you travel up there? I'm we trying to remember. The you were in the Matiz, of course you were. Yeah. Yes. We had got Betty in the country and on the road. Yes. But it was all so close to the wire. Yeah, you're you're really. Not to commit. Yeah, you you've really got to sort of go with. Can you push it? Can you push it? Can you push it to make it work? And sometimes yeah. you just got to stop pushing and give in and be yeah, like, do you know what? Oh, yeah. So, but no, you made it up there, which was great. And obviously, you had your social one that you did recently that was really yeah, well I attended. Up at the motorist I, yeah, I watched the video on that. That, that was, was that was awesome. We didn't expect anywhere near as many people. So many cars over there. Over 200 cars. Wow, and that's so cool. So many people amazed to see this car. Yes, exactly. Yeah. They seem to have bought into her adventure. So yeah. 
yes, so Betty was originally in New Zealand and has done quite the trip before getting into the country. And obviously that was a bit of a chore in itself. Yeah, so I, I bought Betty in November 2019. Yeah. And uh, drove her 5,000 miles around New Zealand. Yeah. For, it was like a dream holiday scenario. Yes, right? exactly, yeah. Uh, made lots of videos about that, which yeah. people are still buying into, people are still watching those playlists. Yeah, do check incredible. out uh, Hobnot on YouTube as well. We'll put the link down in the description. You can check out all of those videos. Yeah, so I was making videos as I went, and this car became a star of those videos. Yeah. But I had to sell her when I left New Zealand. I didn't expect this car to grow on me. I called yeah. her Ugly Betty, because the styling yeah. is so unusual. Yeah. I fell in love with her looks and the way she drives. So yeah. I bought her back in November, November 2019, or was it November? No, November, no, November 2020. 2020, and then sold her. Oh, yeah, COVID. bought her back the second time in yeah. 2020. So yeah, bought her again, and and then um, had to go through shipping her over, and it, it just took forever. Yeah. So uh, she went on the ship in January 2021. Yes, the earlier this year. Yes. Earlier this yeah. year. Uh, landed in March. Yeah. But came via the Suez Canal, just avoiding the chaos down there. Yeah. And then she went up to Sweden and Amsterdam and Belgium. Yeah. Who would have um, thought the most direct route from New Zealand to the UK also involved yeah. the Netherlands and Sweden and everything else? So she finally reached Southampton <laughs> in uh, March of this year. Yeah. Went and collected her, uh, took her to my friend's garage, Southways Automotive, so yep. we could do the work to get her legal. Yes. Which was mostly fitting the pod light and replacing the ball. That's not too bad, actually, yeah. That's... Minimal work. Yeah. Uh, so we, we, we did that and uh, got her back on the road in July this year mm -hmm. and less than a month later I managed to spin her off the road. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, there's another video on that about this this roundabout that you went around. It's, it was resurfaced and yes. it, they put a sign out saying, oh, it's a bit slippy and then decided to do nothing else about it. It was and very slippy. Multiple people went out, including yourself. And then, I just, what, so what was the damage total on that? It wasn't uh, too, we, we, we too extensive. We bent a backing plate and a half shaft. Could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. So my, the my, alloy my, survived my as well? Sorry? The alloy survived as well? No, the alloy. Oh, it was the alloy gone. Oh, okay, fair a huge enough. chunk out of it. Oh, okay. But the following day, my friend Andrew in Melbourne yeah. uh, went to a scrapyard, because these are everywhere in Aussie scrapyards. <laughs> he pulled out a half shaft, a backing plate, yeah. and shipped them over. Perfect. And, Brilliant. Uh, posted them on the Monday, That's arrived on the Thursday. That's amazing. Fitted on the Friday, <laughs> and he went to the Hubnut Social up near Leeds on the Saturday. This, so this is a Barra, isn't it? This no. Is, the, is it not a Barra? Oh, no, this, this is pre Barra. This is a Ford oh. Fairmont AU, which is like okay. a posh. Falcon. Yes. Uh, it's got a four litre six cylinder overhead cam engine. The very proud of the overhead cam. Yeah, because it's a straight six rather than a V. Silly so. Lexus in the back. <laughs> yes. And uh, it's still got a live rear axle, a big beam axle in the back, so it's not. Leaf or? Coil springs. It is coil springs, okay. Leafs on the state. Really? So, Extra load yeah, carrying, they, they I suppose. Just like yeah, things as simple as possible. Wow. And that, that made her a great cruiser. That's wild. The, the, yeah, it's, it's just, such a simple just, construction. Just goes and yeah. you fix it very easily. Hardy. And it's got what? You said a, coming up 300k on this. 300,000 kilometres. Yeah, so 186,000 miles. Nicely broken in. Yeah, yeah, just about getting there. <laughs> and it was, so it pretty, does it share a lot of commonality with the Barra as well, I suppose? It, so this is the pre runner of the Barra. So, so this is like a single cam Barra. Oh, okay, like. fair enough. Right. So the BA Falcon introduced yeah. the barrel engine. Got you. Uh, right. Legendary most of it it is. Indeed, yes. It's uh, it's been but everywhere, done everything. But... In tech. Ah but nice. Its, its origins actually go back to the nineteen sixties Falcons of wow. America. Oh okay, fair enough. So, so this is old, 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 old and just updated history. and updated. Yeah. 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 Four litre, six of <laughs> Back when fuel was cheap. Yeah. Ah, uh, the good old days. Well, it's great to see Betty down. I've been following it for a while, so it was nice to see it. Yeah, and thank uh, you for yeah, along. no, it's all good. Thanks very much. We will continue on and keep walking around. Farewell.
a great day here at Retro Rides Gathering at Shelsley Walsh. I'm here with Sarah, who's from the Midlands Auto Racing Club. Automobile Club. Automobile Club. I keep getting it wrong. So close. <laughs> but we'll pr crack on anyway. Okay. It's been excellent. Now, you've had, obviously been suffering through COVID and everything yeah. else, yeah. where, like the rest of the world has, but you really sort of tried to push fairly hard to get motorsport going again once you could last year. So how did that go? Okay, yeah. So when um, we were allowed to, which was the in back end of July, yeah. Uh, Motorsport UK rulings allowed us to run events. Yeah, so it was just we the spectators that were kind of... That's right, yeah. so we were able to run them just for our competitors. So mm -hmm. we had great support from them. So really we had good, yeah. about seven meetings last year, that's, that's, obviously behind closed doors. Yes. Um, but it was great yeah. to have the hill back in action again. Exactly, you know, at least because you've got all of the camera gear here, because it's all live streamed. You should have been able to watch it on YouTube you today. Did. You should have, go back and watch it. Um, and you can watch it from there. So like that all exists and makes life really easy for people to see it anyway That's even if they can't be here yeah. and even if you are here it's worth having it on your phone to watch further up the hill <laughs> as, <laughs> as they disappear off the line you go oh, okay that's gone but if you've got your phone you can watch it all the way up so and luckily yeah. we've got uh, our broadband allows people to do that as well a little bit yes. and we've got the width yeah. there so that's great so it's great. really really well, good so now technology's moving on yes it's, it's, it's catching up gradually yeah. which is it's lucky <laughs> all things considered yeah, that you had yeah. the the systems in place but yeah. yeah it's been really really good seeing the support from everybody here today for you obviously you've got your sort of your um, circuit that you go around all the different hill climbs as well and do things we've been chatting to some of the photographers here yeah. and they follow sort of your that's your club right. round. yeah well we're lucky that you know we've got our competitors our members go around different hill climbs mm -hmm. um, so you've got the different championships so that obviously died down last year whereas yeah, this year very much. it's back into it so yeah. everyone's really keen to get out Speaking of some of the photographers that are here at Shelsley Walsh this weekend, I'm here with Ollie, who is through the eye of Ollie Photography, and you can find him on Instagram and Facebook, and he does really, really good pictures, like significantly better pictures than I take of cars, and you've been doing it for how many years now? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half years, mm -hmm. and everyone's going to want to know what are you shooting with? You've got your I'm um, shooting with there. a Nikon D5500. Nice, so that's uh, his own camera and he shoots everything himself. Everything that goes onto that account is his own work. It's absolutely glorious. It's really, really good. So if you haven't already, you should definitely go and check him out. Follow him on Facebook, Instagram, uh, and yeah, give, give some love to the, the pictures because they are absolutely superb. And the ones from this weekend should be going up fairly soon, I would imagine. So it's been uh, it's been a really good day. It's been, well, it's been a really good weekend. We've yeah. only been here today, but it's been going since yeah. yesterday with That's the quick right. sixty. So, so. Yeah, the quick sixty yesterday. Yeah. Obviously, very different weather. <gasps> yes, it was really tipping down here yesterday. Very wet, oh. but still really exciting. Yes. Yeah, it was nice to see a different format yeah. that we normally do. Yeah. So because it was really every good. run counts. It was a big knockout it, all the way to the end. So go and have a look at that because that was live streamed on the Retro Rides TV channel as well. So go and ha watch that because that was really really good. I was watching that one. I was yeah. finishing my uh, camera trolley yeah. to bring all the gear. Perfect. Yeah, I was actually, I wasn't here yesterday. So oh, really? Was you were watching it as well. See, it's yeah. just, it's perfect. So, yeah, so that's, uh, it's really good. We'll be back again next year. Brilliant. Um, we'll look to continue see you coming all. back. It yeah. is great fun. It's a lovely day out. Yeah. It's, you just come up into the Worcestershire countryside and have a nice day, especially when it's sunny. I've only been here once when it rained badly. That was 2015. And at some point, I'm going to edit that video, but it is not going to be this week. <laughs> So, yes, thank you very much, Sarah. No, Thanks for, thank have, for helping with a brilliant event. It has been excellent. Brilliant. We'll be back.
We and I'm sure everybody that went to the event wants to make a heartfelt thanks to all of the marshals and everybody else who made this event possible. If you're interested, you can check out marshalling and do a taster day near you. Just go to the link in our description at the bottom or go to marshals.co.uk and have a look there. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell to get all the notifications when we put up new videos. Have a look at shop.pedalbox.show for merch and more. And have a look at patreon.com forward slash pedalboxshow if you'd like to support us, our channel and the builds from as little as a dollar a month. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.